What's hey, up, how's it going? Yo, what up, man? Hey, I'm talking to Myron Gaines. Yeah, you are. Oh, man. I, th- I appreciate you answering my call today. So my only thing I-, I wanted to ask you about was about the whole, like, Wes Watson thing. Like, when he was pulling that shit with, with Andrew Wilson, why didn't you call him out? Friends of both guys, bro. We talked about it uh, on the side. Sound of I mean, that scenes. was like, I think that was pretty ridiculous how he was acting. Really? Yeah, he was acting like a female. He, the same kind of females that you call out, that's exactly how he he was acting. You want to tell him? Emotional. You want to tell him to his face? <laughs> well, why don't you call him out for that behavior? No, we spoke to him. But you hold on. Do you want to tell him to his face? I did too, but you want to tell him to his face? <laughs> I mean, bro, it's like you guys create content for men. You're supposed to be teaching men how to act. Yeah, and we handled it behind the scenes because Wes Watson is a personal close friend of ours. And, like, we're not about to fucking, like, berate Yo, our friend in public, don't, bro. Like, you don't roast your friend or try to, like, yeah. don't play your friend on camera, bro. Like, if it's joking, Ever. okay. Maybe, maybe, like, maybe you should choose better friends. What? You should probably choose better friends than that. That's embarrassing. Who are your friends, bro? I don't have many friends. I, 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 I'm not at that point in my life. Dude, I'm, I'm an older guy. Bro, tell me who, bro. Dude, shut the fuck up. How you can tell me who? Bro, isn't that crazy? Right, bro, Wes is our boy. Like, we've known him for a while. He's fucking been there, helped us out with shit behind the scenes. Like, he's really close with Fresh. Like, so it obviously, seems like you guys are obfuscating to the point. And like no, you, look, look, the look, way look. You get silent, you're like, you know there's a problem. Bro, look, it is a problem. You're absolutely right. And we handled it behind the scenes. We don't need to fucking, like, have a conversation like that. You don't know anything behind the scenes. You don't know anything. You're assuming from off of one clip. Understandable, but look, it's like, bro. Let me give you guys some of you guys a life lesson here. Because a lot of you guys like have this concept of like, hold your friends accountable. You hold your friends accountable. Look, you don't need to hold your friends accountable in front of a fucking camera with tens of thousands of people watching. You do that shit behind the scenes privately. Okay? You don't need to fucking do that shit. You have good friends. You have a, some level of respect. Y'all have those private conversations on the side. You don't need to do that shit on the internet. It's weird. That's weird, bro. If you have a job and you have a colleague and they do some dumb shit, you're not going to berate him in front of everybody there. You'll get their loyalty and they'll be like, damn, you're a stand-up guy. You could have thrown me under the bus and embarrassed me in front of everybody, but you didn't. That says something about your integrity. It says something about your mindset. It says about something about like having tact, having social awareness, right? Like, Look, I, I'm, not, I, I'm not trying to fight with you guys. Like, I, I do actually see the value in your content, but... Like, moments like that, you don't see them as, like, a teachable moment. Like yeah, for look, look, I get it. Like, he, like yeah, bro, know. look, do I agree with the way he reacted? No, but I don't need to fucking berate him in front of everybody there. Like, he's earned my respect because he's done. He's a, he's our friend, and he's done shit behind the scenes for us. Like, we fuck with him. We, like, we really fuck with him. And so Andrew as well. And Andrew, too. So, like, obviously, I was there. Nothing was going to happen. And then we had a conversation behind the scenes, bro. Like, it doesn't need, we, like, I don't know why. Like, you guys, like, how old are you, bro? How old are you? I'm, I'm in my my late thirties. Then you should fucking know better. You should no, I know, know better. better than that. That's how that guy acts. I mean, that dude looks like no, 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 no. You should know better, bro. You're old enough to understand what it was like before the internet age. You're old enough to remember before the social media bullshit. You had a job before, right? I, I, yeah, I have a good paying job. Okay, what would it be like if your supervisor or a colleague of yours embarrassed you and said something about you? Right? Let's say you fucked up publicly in front of everybody. And he called but you out for everybody. Did, but he did that publicly. That's the difference, though. He did that publicly. Then that's, that's not your real friend. Let's say your buddy that you work with embarrassed you in front of everybody, and you guys were friends. You guys are cool, right? And then you did some shit. You fucked up in front of everybody, and then he called you out on it and made you look. It made it even worse. If I was the one in the wrong, then I would just take my L. Like, okay, would you still have the same level of respect for that guy? Or would you fuck with him in the future? When he could have I mean, easily after, just if, waited? If, I wouldn't expect him to want to have anything to do with me after that. Like, I don't see where you're going with this. I mean, I get it. He's your friend. I think that, yeah, you're just, you know, you're, you're trying to be a good friend or whatever. But yeah, that's the kind of shit that makes people steer away from Red Pill content when they see guys like that. Because it's like, it makes it look like hypocrisy. Like, this guy acts like an emotional. He's not a Red Pill content creator. At all. Everyone on that panel was from somewhere else, bro. Yeah, bro. And to be honest with you, almost nobody on that panel was a red pill content creator. Crypto, blog lifestyle, rap. See, uh, and here's another thing, too. You guys got to understand. 
coaching. We work really hard to diversify our platform and bring people on from different walks of life that think th- think about things differently, right? We disagree with a lot of people that we bring on the show, especially when it comes to Red Pill Dynamics, and dynamics, etc. Like, Wes is a motivational Big guy. Good. Yeah. Like, he's not a Red Pill content creator, bro. Like, I don't know why you guys, like, look at him like, uh, like, look at it like, oh, well, they're not Red Pill. Like, but guys, the dumbest thing you could do is, like, assume everyone has your worldview. I'm sorry, what was that? Are you? What the fuck? You're the one that called into no, the show. You know what I, got, I got caught up reading the chat. Reading it. So right, you got caught up reading the chat. Just go, go back to the chat, bro. All right, you bro. know what? You, know what? I, you got plenty so of time like, to yo, read like, it, like, it's, it's crazy to me, like, how... Like, bro, you, you just don't fucking get it, man. And this is the thing, like, you guys want to know... Like, bro, you know why so many YouTubers, like, that we, that we like, collab with, etc., like, have an enormous amount of respect for us and, like, people talk highly of us that we've worked with in the past? Because we move differently. We're not YouTubers, entertainers. Like, if we work with you... We work with you. There's some level of respect, right? We're not going to fucking bash you or do some weird shit or try to embarrass you, especially if we're, like, friends with you. Like, that's just weird, right? And I think that's a tenement of masculinity is to stick by your friends and be loyal to your friends, even if they're in the wrong, right? And it's like people will go ahead and sell somebody short or go ahead and say, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and condemn you publicly so I can hold you accountable get some clicks. Like, no, man, it ain't worth it for us. That's stupid. Yo, bro, you know what got me? He's... Almost 40 reading a chat. Sorry, bro. And then I asked him, like, do you have friends? No. That should tell you something, bro. What the fuck is wrong with you? How do you not have any friends that you're 40 years old? That means that you're a fucking snake. Yeah. You can't make this shit up, bro. Crazy, bro. You got no friends, and you try to tell us how to move with people. That's pre- Your mindset is precisely why you don't have a network of men. Oh, brother. You're not loyal. As soon as, like, some shit happens, I'm going to condemn you. Get the fuck out of here, bro. We wish you the best, bro. Holy shit, man. I think Wes is hilarious, bro. Honestly. This is why I say masculinity is dead, bro. Yeah, no, like, it's, yo, it's like, dead. There's no, like, there's Soy no... Soy boys for like, life. Like, bro, like, yo, like, if it's your boy, Young like, niggas. they do some shit like, yo, it's fucking, like, I'm here. You know what I mean? You know what I realize, though, bro, about this fucking open world that we live in bro. nowadays? Weird. Most, most guys want you to follow the woke agenda, and it is basically saying Which in a means nutshell, sell out your your friends. Yeah. You know you know what's crazy? One of the criticisms that people come at me for is, Myron, you're too loyal. That's a criticism in 2024? There's a movie, The Town. One of my favorite fucking scenes. Ben Affleck comes in, tells his friend, look, there's some people, they did some shit, we're gonna hurt them really bad. You can't ask me anything about it, you can't mention anything about it ever. And the guy looks at him and he says, which car, are we, which car are we taking? That's who you need in your circle, bro. That's who you need in your fucking circle. When Andrew had the bullshit going on with him, and every, the whole world turned on him. Oh, he's a trafficker. He's a rapist, etc. I was like, no. I know this guy. I'm not going to fucking... Like, the, the cool thing to do would be like, oh, yeah, I condemn him, bro. Yeah, I'm with the narrative. Like, fuck that shit. We know him. We know this is a bunch of bullshit. We went and got evidence to prove that he didn't bullshit, and we stood there tall. And now look, you guys are seeing. It was all a lie. Right? There you go. Bullshit happened with Fresh. Fuck that bitch. She lied. A lot of you guys don't know that like, you guys ran with the dare. Oh. Bro, she got an abortion before she did any of the podcasts. She already had the abortion by the time she called this nigga, bro. Uh, you know who he knew? I've been preaching you. They, they lied too. Yep. Isn't that funny? Made themselves look like ass clones. That's why they ran with it. That's why they go so hard now. Yep. To ran re- with it. To recover. Look stupid. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Biggest L. But no, but no one ever cares about the truth. Yeah. They just want to go ahead and say, oh, Fresh did X, Y, Z, blah, blah. And she was poking up with other dudes at the time, too. But again, like I said before, I could have just been like, nah, man, I'm going to distance myself from this shit. No, fuck that, man. Fuck that. Your true friends are the ones that stand by you when it's not convenient to do so. Yeah. Lesson in fucking loyalty, man. This is like a lost art, and it's amazing to me. I have to explain myself or talk about this shit. We had a conversation about it behind the scenes, man. He apologized. He was real cordial about it. It's like, my bad, man. I didn't mean to fucking blah, blah, blah. I'm a hothead sometimes, whatever. Done, man. The fuck, bro? What's the cool ass dude? I think people have lost the art of respect and loyalty nowadays. And ultimately, Incredible. man, if you want to actually have a good experience in life, you need real friends in your circle. <clears throat> if you don't have that, then you want to understand what's happening or what you could achieve. But again, if you're not even in this circle, 
even our circle, you wouldn't know, so it's fine. Bro, like, yo, call her. I'm not even trying to clown you right now, but you said you have no friends. That's a problem. That's a fucking problem as a man that you don't have and a almost, circle almost of guys 40? around you. That's scary, And you're 40. Where's your tribe? That tells me that you made really bad fucking decisions and where's you your, fucked people over. Where's your brotherhood? That tells me more about you than I need, than anything else. The worst thing you could be is a treacherous fucking snake as a man. That's the worst thing you can be. Yeah. Absolute worst thing you could be because people don't trust you. They don't want to be around you. And guys that got their shit together, Andrew, Tristan, Justin Waller, guys like that, they take loyalty very fucking seriously. They but, cut out like half their fucking squad. Half. Because treachery is just unacceptable. Actually, if you think about it, Justin lost his channel for Andrew. Yeah. Yeah. Justin Waller. Didn't blink eye. Nope. Didn't you know care. what I mean? They've given us strikes for having Andrew on whatever. We don't give a fuck. That's some G shit. You know what I mean? We're not going to fucking cut our ties or our support. But I don't know, man. It's just like a lost start, bro. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. And like the fact that people like try to shut on us for that, I'm like, okay, bro.